this uh, hangout is going to be about FE Core and what's been going on with this batch of dumb fuckery with them um, in regards to their copyright claims and their claims of uh, privacy complaints. So um, we're going to basically go through what's been going on. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask all of you to be patient with me. I'm going to get some people into the call and then we will go from there. So with that, sit back, relax, give me about 30 seconds and we will get the fuck into it. All right, that may have been a little less than 30 seconds. I just had to plug in my headphones. Otherwise, it wasn't going to come through uh, the correct way through OBS just because of the way I have it set up. Anywho, let's go ahead and get on into it. So unless you all have been living under a rock, uh, Effie Core, or specifically Mike, the uh, chairman, I guess, the CEO, not really CEO, just... The, the fucking leader, the head honcho at FE Core, uh, recently got triggered and butthurt at Sly Sparkane because Sly Sparkane did a fantastic job exposing FE Core for the frauds that they are. And yes, Mike, I am going to call you frauds. Please fucking sue me for liable. I fucking dare you. Um, but anyway, Sly Sparkane did a fantastic job exposing FE Core for the frauds that they are. In response, uh, Effie Core decided to issue copyright claims against Sly Sparkane's video, which unfortunately stuck because YouTube's copyright uh, reporting system is very easy to abuse. Not only that, as if uh, submitting a fraudulent claim under penalty of perjury wasn't enough, they decided to go one extra step with Sly Sparkane and submit privacy complaints against Sly Sparkane. These uh, privacy complaints um, are illegitimate. They, uh, they're they not valid because if you go to FE Core's website and go to their About Us tab and scroll to the bottom of the page, you can actually see the members of FE Core. You can see their picture and their name attached to their picture. Privacy complaint, my fucking ass. So, in response to this, I of course took to Twitter and started spamming the holy hell out of Team YouTube to let them know that their system uh, was being abused by this batch of butthurt flat earthers. Um, in response to this, Effie Core decided to target one of my videos... Um, which was a mirror of Sean Hufford's live stream where he went to the supposed headquarters of Effie Core. Uh, to the surprise of absolutely nobody, uh, there was nothing, nothing on that building that indicated that Effie Core was actually established at that particular location. Uh, in fact, <laughs> all the uh, signage that was uh, on the building was something like uh, like church related stuff. I think I saw something on plaster on door about uh, a gym that was at that location, but nothing that indicates that FE Core is actually located at that particular address. And so, Sean Hufford, uh, naturally very happy with with this finding, uh, decided to post the video on YouTube. Um, and of course it was a live stream. So what the fuck else was going to happen? Of course it was going to get posted to YouTube. It was a fucking live stream. I liked the video so much that I decided to mirror it on my channel. Now, this is where I did something different. What I did was I crafted a custom thumbnail for this video. Uh, the thumbnail featured the FE core logo and a poop emoji. Yeah. Classy, right? So you had a background of that was a picture of the moon, which I took myself with the Nikon P900, the flat earther camera of choice. I put that as the background image. I dimmed it a metric fuck ton. I put the FE core on the left side of the image, an equal sign in the middle, and a poop emoji on the right side of the image. So basically... I didn't just post their logo, I actually was trying to make a statement with 
that thumbnail. Fe core equals shit. So, uh, Mike Cavanaugh being incredibly butthurt about the amount of shit that is being thrown in the direction of Fe core because of their uh, their bullshit, um, decided to uh, decided to make a copyright claim against my video and claim that the copyright claim was actually because of the thumbnail of the video. The thumbnail is the reason why he decided to throw a copyright claim on my channel. Now, while this happened, I was currently in, I was at, I was in North Carolina traveling on I-95 South. I couldn't necessarily do it through a phone, so I thought I was screwed. But then I remembered, oh wait, I have my laptop and unlimited, unlimited mobile hotspot. So I decided to break that bitch out at the next rest stop and I filed a counter notification ASAP. I got that through, sent it off to YouTube, and now FE Core or Mike has a limited amount of time to respond to that counter notification with a court order demanding that that video remain removed. If FE Core fails to get a, to, to get that court order, my video, which is the mirror of Sean Hufford's video, will be reinstated. Now, uh, because of the uh, way that trademark laws work, I mean, just look up dumb Starbucks, um, that copyright claim was illegitimate. I can use their logo because it is an identifier for their organization. And I use that identifier to make a statement. So that is fair use for criticism, parody, or news reporting. We were reporting something that we that we found on location. Uh, that thumbnail could technically be uh, classified as parody. I mean, it was the FE Corp being equal to a poop emoji for fuck's sake. And to make matters even worse for FE Corp, they decided to have a correspondence with me through email uh, all day today. Uh, if you have been following me on Twitter, then you already know where this is going. But needless to say, I had a fucking blast just absolutely reaming Mike Cavanaugh about the legality and the uh, and also the facts of the uh, perjury that he has committed on himself. So... In this uh, correspondence of email, he royally fucked up in one really big way, and, I, and I'm going to read the quote verbatim from F.E. Core, a.k.a. Mike Cavanaugh, and I want you to, <laughs> to just, uh, I mean, you just gotta, okay, I'm just gonna read it, fuck it, it's, it, this is fucking amazing, guys, so, grab some popcorn, this is fucking nuts. They say, and I quote, Our brand logo can be used by anyone under fair use, which we have no issue with. My response to that was, Thanks for saying the obvious. I will be sure to make you read that out loud in court, slowly. But this is the good stuff. Your use, however, together with the title of the video, was still, was, and still is slanderous, since there is zero proof of fraudulent activities. Small problem with that. It's not slander because we have proof of the fraudulent activities. But here's the big one. Slander does not fall under copyright law. Thank you, Kavanaugh, for admitting that you made a claim, a copyright claim because of slander and not because of copyright. You have just admitted to me through email, your recorded fucking texts, your screenshotted texts, you have admitted to making a false copyright claim. You just committed perjury. Please, Mike Cavanaugh, please, I fucking beg you. I fucking beg you. Get that court order and take my ass to court. Please, Mike Cavanaugh, please. I, w I need this in my life. I am going to have so much fun reaming your ass sideways from this. I I need that. I mean, I knew uh, that going after flat earthers, that I would be able to own them intellectually. But legally as well, it's just the fuck 
fucking cherry on top. So I think I think we need to pursue this further. Mike, you just admitted to perjury. Here, I, I'm going to read this again. Your uh, Our brain logo can be used by anyone under fair use, which we have no issue with. Your use, however, together with the title of the video was and still is slanderous since there is zero proof of fraudulent activities. Slander does not fall under copyright law. That is not what the DMCA is for. You are trying to hammer a nail in with an iPhone. The tool doesn't fit the job. Do you see what I'm fucking getting at here, Mike Cavanaugh? So I have to really applaud you, Mike Cavanaugh. You know, I thought that Kyle Curtis uh, was just the end all be all winner for dumb fuck of the year this year, but I think you might actually have him beat here. I I, I, I have to I have to admit, I am astonished at the level of dumb fuckery that I was having the pleasure of reading from my email. So thank you, Mike. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You have demonstrated just how dumb flirts can be, not only when it comes to geometry, but when it comes to law as well. So thank you, Mike. Thank you so fucking much. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and invite some peeps, bitches, and hoes, and we are going to, you know, let them uh, say what they have to say about this here uh, situation that we have uh, found ourselves in. So we're going to invite that bitch. We are also going to invite that peep. And we're also going to invite that hoe. Well, hello. Hey, Sean Hufford, how's it going? It's going. It's going, <laughs> yes. So, Sean, uh, I've, I've had my say. I am going to now commence Operation Shut the Fuck Up and let you uh, take over from here. Well, my, Mike is very, very self-destructive at the moment. Um, first, he says he copyright he copyrighted claimed the thumbnail. I have evidence that says otherwise. Ah, really? Um, I, people were complaining that they couldn't re-upload my, my, um, walk around FE Corps headquarters, um, because they were getting errors from YouTube saying it was a term of service violation and it's a, um, copyrighted video. So I did the, the responsible thing. I actually downloaded the video from my own channel and tried to re-upload it to my own channel. Take a gander what happened. Let me guess. It didn't go through. It didn't go through because it violates the terms of service. Now, do you know why? My guess is because he didn't copyright the thumbnail. He copyright he copyright the whole video. Correct. He copyrighted my video against your channel. Now, if he had just copyrighted the thumbnail, the video wouldn't be flagged in any way. People would be able to upload that to their heart's content. He copyright struck the video. There's an option to strike the thumbnail, and that will take a video down, but it will not blight the video through content ID to prevent it from being uploaded from anybody else. Hmm. Especially the person whose content ID match should go back to the original channel, which is mine. If anybody should have been able to upload that video again, it should be me because my video has already existed. Content ID should actually notice that that video unedited matches the one on my channel. But no, I'm even prevented from uploading it because the video itself has had a copyright claim on it. I actually did a video on that today. It took like four and a half minutes. <laughs> um, beyond that, I, I found some of his emails to you rather interesting. Yeah. Um, be I, uh, the the e uh, uh, Okay. So I would like to kind of correct you on one thing. They're not interesting. They're fucking hilarious. Especially, well, I, I, especially my reply. <laughs> I'm actually going to ask you to pull up, uh, pull up a couple quotes from those emails. Of course, because, of course. Because Defi Core is always kind of saying, you have to prove that we're being fraud. You have to prove that we're doing something illegal. Mike, you through your emails to Red today, you have verified that you are frauds. We already knew this. This is stuff we found out about over a year ago. 
but today you verified it that you are doing stuff illegally yes exactly um, if you could read the email that starts off starts off with if our north liberty address okay uh so it says here if our north liberty address is fake then why would the irs send us anything there space question mark space and how would we re how would we reply back if no one is there to correspond with we are not required to permanently occupy the building, and no signs are required by law, therefore making your video slanderous and defamatory. Its only function is to have a correspondence address for the IRS. Okay. So he says that they are not required to have a permanent office at their 101 North Maple Street address, which is actually south. I'm not sure why I put north on there. Um, website maybe so people couldn't find it well let me go ahead and start up a screen share here dealing with the um what's this what's this type of paper called oh the regulations behind nonprofits for the to become an art to fill out your articles of incorporation oh shit just got real so these are the actual laws that they are violating it starts off on page 783 this is a rather long read if you actually go through the whole fucking thing, which is why they try to hire a company to do this for them. Okay. Structural me mechanisms. Section one, article accountability at the formation stage. Accountability is achieved, goes to 784, in part through the an incorporation process that forces the original members of the corporation to disclose the corporation's purpose and the procedures under which it will operate. This information is available to officials of the state, potential members, donors, and beneficiaries. That word is very important because their beneficiaries, because of their mission statement, is the general public. They are the people who are benefiting from the work that they do. Yeah, I, I was going to say, it seems like that list requires public stop, disclosure. Stop, 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 stop. Don't steal my thunder, Jared, on this. I just <laughs> No. I know there's more. The corporate's purpose must be included in the proposed Articles of Incorporation. They did do that. They followed that law. Along with the corporate name, the duration of the corporation's existence before they file, which was zero time because they filed immediately, um, its post office address, and its principal office. These aren't optional. These must be supplied and must be given. They don't have a principal office. Right out of the gate, they are violating the Article of Incorporation through Indiana state law. So, yes, they filed fraudulently. So, when they said that, uh, and I'm going to quote here again, its only function is to have a correspondence address for the IRS, what is he saying there? He's saying federally they're not required to have an office. Unfortunately, they filed their Article of Incorporation in the state of Indiana, which requires one. Hmm. Mm. So, so if I if I make the claim that they screwed the pooch on that one, that would not be slanderous. That would not be liable. That would just be a fucking fact by that would be their a own words. Of fact, yes, that would be a statement of. Fa oh, isn't it funny how that works, Mike? <laughs> and Mike just admitted it in his email to you. I'll continue. In addition, the Article of Incorporation. Disclose the names and addresses of nonprofit resident agent, which is Rick Hummer. No problem there. He is on the form. The number of corporate directors, which he put in zero. The names and addresses of the initial board of directors and the incorporators. He wrote down there was no board, which is what the whole members yes or no box is for. He put no. So they have no board of directors as far as the state of Indiana is, con is concerned. They fraudulently filed for Articles of Incorporation. They know this. They are avoiding this. This has been found out for over a year, but they won't address this because they know that they're boned in the state of Indiana. Hmm. Yes, of course. Um, I also uh, decided to let them know about this. Um, let me go ahead and read you a reply that I made to FE Core. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. All right, so here's what I what I said to Effie Core 
um, in reality, Mike, because even though they say uh, this is from the FE Core team, I know I was speaking to Mike. Mike, seriously, cut the shit. I know I was speaking to you. So here's what I said. In the end, you are just trying to get videos that show FE Core to be a fraudulent organization removed no matter how illegal. That would be, of course, like, you know, the perjury thing that they just made so easy to prove and demonstrate. I will also assert that you are motivated by typical flat earth butthurt caused by globeheads who actually know how to do research. They have exposed your organization and that has really pissed you off. This, of course, would be also including you, Sean, because you actually went to that location, uh, which, by the way, we're going to touch on in a bit. As for you suggesting that I stop wasting time and take action against FE Core for fraud, Sly Sparkane has already started that process. Keep an eye on your mail, Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters, listen to this shit, all right? Just, just listen to this shit. This shit is awesome. You will find a letter from the Indiana Attorney General... As referred by the SOS office, Secretary of State, yes, I can confirm that the proper individuals have been contacted who have the authority to stop your fraudulent organization. The information is now on the desk of the Indiana AG and will be dealt with accordingly. Enjoy that headache, Mike. See, here's the thing, F.E. Core. You can go ahead and abuse an easily abusable system. The YouTube copyright complaint system is broken, and so it is very easy to abuse that system. But all of this is just a minor inconvenience to me. The shit that you're about to deal with is going to be more than just an inconvenience. So, well, just, yeah. Just be glad you don't live in America. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that. You, you have the easy out of having to worry about being, you know, extradited. The rest of your people in FE Core, they're fucked, dude. Yeah, kind of fucked. Kind of fucked. And, uh, but speaking of FE Core basically being fucked here, um, I want to uh, go back to the original video that started my involvement. Uh, and that is uh, you actually going on location. So, can you please tell us what you uh, observed when you arrived on location? Oh, at the, at the X Church? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely nothing dealing with FE Core. Um, I found signage for the Shamrock Holdings Company, which is not Rick Hummers. I was incorrect in that assertion. Um, Rick Hummers is actually in charge of the other company that's based there, which is um, some kind of tool and dice um, company. There is a gym in the basement, and I think there's one other company, but there is no actual active church there anymore. Mm. Um, just to clear that, because people are still talking about it's a Mennonite church. No, it used to be. It was bought back in 2013 um, by not Rick Hummer. Rick Hummer does not actually own the building. Um, he just has an office for his little tool and die company. Yeah, I mean, Rick Hummer's got his corporation there. He's actually got an office for his tool and die company in that building under mm -hmm. Indiana state law. FE Core does not. Ah, amazing how that works, huh? So, if I make the claim that the address that they list as their headquarters is fraudulent, that wouldn't be slander. That would just be a statement of fact. Yes. Um, here, here's the thing about Indiana. They are very, very strict in disallowing mailbox front companies because they're literally fly-by-night. They, they have the laws in place to prevent people from having mailbox front companies. Mm. That, that's why they have to have a principal office, which FE Core does not. Interesting. By Mike's own admission, they do not. Yes. Uh, just just to make sure, this is the last email that they sent me. So, uh, oh, oh just real quick, who was that email from officially? Uh, uh, FE Core Inc. Backup. Um, let me. Well, who, who's the little tag at the bottom? Uh, sincerely, the FE Core team. So this is the company, F.E. Core, having correspondence with you saying that they do not have an office in Indiana. Yeah, well, let me go ahead and read it out. So let's, let's, I mean, don't take it from me. Don't, don't, don't take my word for it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Dear sir slash madam, first of all, 
Fuck you. I sexually identify as an attack helicopter. Get your shit together. If our North Liberty address is fake, then why would the IRS send us anything there? And how would we reply back if no one is there to correspond with? We are not required to permanently occupy the building, and no signs are required by law, therefore making your video slanderous and defamatory. Its only function is to have correspondence address for the IRS. In other words, a mailbox front company. Uh -huh. Something that is illegal in Indiana. Ah, ah, it's it's almost as if, you know, nothing I said was slanderous. Uh, it's almost as if everything I said was the actual fucking facts. Huh, interesting so how that works. Evidence of, you wanted evidence that you filed fraudulently. There you have it, Mike. Eat a dick. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let me go ahead and do this real quick before we move on to Jared. Uh, Thomas Miller for $99.99. Thank you very much. No message there, but I'm going to assume that what he meant to type there was Effie Cork can eat a dick. For that, I agree. Uh, Jub Jubs for $159.99 says, Hopefully, I can help you guys with this donation to fight this bullcrap. Keep fighting the good fight, exclamation point. Dude, thank you so much. We fucking will. Stinger News won for $99.99. No message, but I assume what he meant to type there was Epicor can seriously eat a dick. And Stinger News won. I fully agree. Thank you very much for your super chat. Carrie Oliver for $50 says, Screw Effie. Fight the good fight. You know what? We fucking will. Thank you very much. Now, AT2 Productions, how are you, you sexy son of a bitch? Uh, quite the night we have brewing, don't we? Uh, yes, I agree. It, I do have to say, I never expected someone running a business as artfully as these guys to make such blatant and laughable errors I mean, it's Mike. I'm disappointed. I expected you to actually try. You let me down. <laughs> this was this was too easy. It was too easy to catch you in your bullshit. It was too easy to point it out, and it was too easy to piss you off to the point that you had to break more laws on top of it. Ding 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 ding. Ugh. God, it's so good. It's so fucking good. Um, but on top on top of this, uh, I do want to ask you a very serious question, uh, AT2. So the question is, between the two, Kyle Curtis or Mike Cavanaugh, who's the biggest dumb fuck here? That's Ooh, a that, that is a tough one because the the errors and what got them in the running are both the same. I, I can answer that. <laughs> but I will have to say by a slim 5% margin, I'm going with Mike. Ah, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I'll say Mike, but by, by much higher than 5%, even though the joke is great. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say 95% Mike, because here is a non-American citizen trying to defend himself for breaking American laws. And then, Getting the American laws completely ass backwards. <laughs> now, whatever Danish country he's in over there, I don't know their laws, but even under fair, um, it's not fair use. It's um, fair. Oh God, I don't remember. Fair dealing. Fair dealing. Yes, even under fair dealing, it's still his logo <laughs> of all things isn't a copyrightable item because it has their name in the logo. It is a self-identifying logo for a corporation, which means it can't be copyrighted. It only falls under trademark law. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, if I remember correctly, I don't think I made the claim that my video was from FE Core, um, and I don't nope. think I made the claim that I was a member of FE Core. Nope. Why the fuck would I want to be a member of FE Core anyway? These, uh, why, why the actual fuck would I want to be a member of an organization that gets triggered every time the number 33 pops up? 
Yeah, because you know what the first thing that I did as soon as you said that they filed, um, or he, you showed that email saying that they filed for the thumbnail? Uh-huh. First thing I did was I looked up, is a logo trademarked or copyrighted? And there's actually very good reads about this whole thing. If it's a work of art or can be considered a work of art, it is copyrightable. If they would have left their name out of it, it could have been copyright protected. Yeah, I want to go ahead and read this out. Um, and then I'm going to pass it on to Astronomy Live next so that he can say what he has to say. But during the first email, he says that, you know, we submitted the uh, copyright claim because of the inappropriate use of our corporate logo, blah, 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 shit like that. Uh, and then, of course, says sincerely the FE Core team. So uh, I went ahead and replied with the following message. Hello, Mike. Let's cut the crap and get right to the point. You know as well as I do that you are actively targeting anyone who is a friend of Slice of Arcane because he did a fantastic job exposing your, or, your organization for the fraud that it is. There are screenshots of you admitting that you would actively be engaging in harassment of, of Sly's friends, whether it be by false copyright claims or false privacy complaints. The latter being the more the most humorous, considering that your members are publicly displayed on your website. Not only are you targeting people on bad faith, but you also don't understand copyright law because logos cannot be copyright claimed. You use your logo as an identifier for your organization. Therefore, any video about your organization can use your logo under fair use. In addition to this, the thumbnail was also illustrating a point similar to a common meme on the internet. Even in Europe, where the copyright laws are a little more strict with shit like that, memes and images like my thumbnail are still protected under fair use. You also cannot claim protection under trademark laws because I am not trying to pass off my video as being from your organization. In addition to that, I am not claiming to be a member of your organization because unlike you, I actually have a brain between my ears. My counterclaim through YouTube will remain active until it expires naturally when you fail to provide documentation that show that you are pursuing this matter legally. If you decide to pursue this legally, I have representation ready to take this however far it needs to go. And, oh, this part's really good. And if you decide to target my channel again, then I will go ahead and prepare the legal documentation needed to see this matter resolved to the fullest extent of the law. I would recommend not pushing it that far, because then docu documents that show the legality of your organization become records for the court. And based on what has been exposed so far, that would be a very bad thing for you. Sincerely, Reds. With that being read, um, Astronomy Live, what say you about this? Well, I just want to make the point, not that I think anyone is doubting it right now, but in case anyone doubts that you can actually file a copyright strike against a thumbnail specifically, here I'm sharing the actual copyright complaint form for YouTube. You can say that your company's organization or client's artwork has been stolen, and you can specify that where it was stolen is the custom thumbnail right there. So if you check that, there is no reason for them to flag the video itself as damaged goods, bad goods that no one else can upload. Yet that is clearly what has happened in this case. So he's clearly lying either to you or on the copyright complaint form or both when he says that the reason he filed the copyright complaint was only for the thumbnail, not the content of the video. If that's the case... Uh, then there, why is the entire video banned on YouTube? He must have checked this instead. In other words, he was not going after the thumbnail. He was going after the video, which he does not hold the rights to. And uh, that's not going to go well for him. If he wants to pursue this, this is all going to come out in court, and he's going to be in a shitload of trouble. Well, devil's advocate here, um, Astronomy Live, he might have wanted to go after the thumbnail, but he didn't read down far enough to where it actually talks about custom thumbnail. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm pretty sure that at the end of this form, you have to make sure that you check off these things, including that this notification is accurate under penalty of perjury. So I don't think the judge is going to give a shit if he tries to make the excuse, I filled it out wrong. You're certifying yeah. that you didn't fill it out wrong under penalty of perjury. Yeah, basically double check your work, asshole. Um, and also... Let's go ahead and go for this for $200 Australian Aussie Globehead. 
for the Eat a Dick Fund. Uh, that's not for F.E. Core. That's for uh, Flat Earth Aussie Jesus because he can eat a dick. And for $20, Helios575 for $20 again. This is money that would have previously gone to the non sequitur show, but this is much. But this is a much better cause. <laughs> Fuck both Kyle and Mike. Oh, I love it. Uh, so basically, I'm going to go over to the only goblin that's in the uh, in the call right now. So I have a question for the goblin, and the question is: Who's worse, Kyle or Mike? Who does? Who is a? Uh, who actually deserves dumb fuck of the year between the two? You for taking thirty minutes to get me in here. Oh, okay, that's fair. <laughs> Good answer. That that is that stupid is fair. questions. <laughs> that's no, no, fair. Be honest, be honest. It takes them thirty minutes to get in anywhere. <laughs> oh, oh no. She he, she knows. <laughs> not, not, not longer than that, Sean. Let let's be honest. Thirty minutes would be a record for him compared oh. to a sprinter. It, it's that inexperience. He just can't find it. Look, 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 no one told me that it was, you know, much lower than previously expected. Anyway. I just don't, listen, I spent 30 minutes pulling together this shit. Also, this extra shit. Because somebody in the chat was like, yo, look at my thing that I made. I thought you guys would like the meme. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it earlier. Look. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I pull this up. Oh, that's. Do you fun. see this? This is the order of events. You're welcome. No. Here's your fucking thing, where you got striked. Here's it showing that it was manually detected. Here's your first email, so it's not just you reading it. Here's your response. Here's the response from YouTube saying we got your counter notification. Here's their other two emails, and then your response to that, their last email, your last email, then the dumb shit they said at the very end. Then here's YouTube fucking responding on Twitter about something that nobody was talking about. Yeah, hang on. Oh, oh, by the way, what? remember when he was saying that, uh, oh yeah, I'm reporting Yeah, go, go back and show Sean. Yeah, hold on. I Let's, missed that I, one. I'll, I'll go back in a second. This shit right here. Do you see what's wrong with this? Report a thumbnail as an option, Mike. Yep, that's what I was showing. Go, 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 go back, go back to. Oh yeah, yeah. So this tweet right here. <laughs> so as you all are well aware, we've been spamming the ever living shit out of Team YouTube, and they responded to uh, one of the followers about this, um, and they said. We have teams reviewing 24-7, and when we find content that violates our guidelines, we act quickly to address it. If you feel there are videos that violate our policy, you can report them here for review. My reply was, this is not about videos that violate your guidelines. This is about a group of people abusing your copyright reporting system. Fraudulent claims are being made against multiple users by FE Core as we speak. This is a campaign of targeted harassment. DM me! Hey, Red, I mean, you should probably white box me while I'm screen sharing. So that way when you're talking, people can actually see what the fuck you're reading. Uh, you are white boxed. Okay, good. Yay, I did a thing. But yeah, oh. so so you can see that... Okay, so Team YouTube obviously responded, but they didn't actually pay attention. So we're just going to have to, you know, keep hammering Team YouTube because... At least you've gotten their attention at this point. At least it's something. At least it's something, but... The work isn't over. So, so for the, everyone well, just in... over here is where. Here I it mean, is. I, I, Here's I the it. email where he's complaining about the logo. So if his logo was really what he was cut, like with your thumbnail was the goddamn problem, then this is the what he should have filled out. Report a thumbnail. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, he could even file a copyright complaint against the thumbnail, but he would, he could, as I showed earlier, he could have specifically picked the thumbnail and said, this is the thing I'm copyright claiming, not the video. He clearly claimed the video, which is why no one else can upload the video. They're not. Well, I'm waiting for Content ID to roll back and do his little retroactive check on all YouTube channels and actually copyright strike my video that he says he doesn't have a right to copyright strike. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be hilarious. If oh, I'm happens. just waiting for it. I'm actually, I've actually been waiting for it for two days now. Yeah, they'll probably try. 
well, well here... it's not it's not if you're trying at this point if he's claimed copyright on my video's content content id will roll back and check every youtube channel for matching content and flag all of them with copyright strikes yep because yep. that was his order for the manual takedown and and also i want to point point out something that uh even if even if he went through the uh the copyright complaint form and only selected the thumbnail that would still be a false dmca that would still be false because my thumbnail was protected under fair use he has quite literally no right to submit a copyright uh notification against me he did this and he and he committed perjury as a result and if you want to be pedantic about it, actually, your thumbnail would fall under original creation as it could be a piece of art that you yourself made. Uh -huh. As long as it's transformative enough, then yes, it would fall under that. I had I had a picture of the moon, which I took myself in the background. I had an equal sign that I literally just typed into existence. I had a poop emoji, which, you know, poop emoji. And an FE core. So FE core equals poop emoji with a moon background. That's it. And, the and... submitted... Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. The submitted complaint was due to an uh, inappropriate fuck off use of the FE core corporate logo in the thumbnail as stated in the submitted complaint. That is why the original content by Mr. Hufford, Mr. is not capitalized and there is no period, was not filed against. That's could, why I'm waiting for my video to get flagged by content ID. Could you please, at least if you're going to pretend to be legitimate, type like you're legitimate? Like, also, use, at least use Grammarly or, or like spell check. He didn't say filed against. He said filled against. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do, do we really want to get into the subconscious reading here? Because yeah, hold on, I'm gonna. I'm gonna I wouldn't leave the forty flip out, okay? We're oh gonna, god. We're gonna circle that and say A N. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna get file. <laughs> we're gonna circle this because this needs to be capitalized, Mister, and also needs to have a period. Anything else we're missing? Well, there needs to be a comma. Uh, okay, yep, comma no, needs to be here. <laughs> Uh, I'm just I'm just gonna stop this right now because this is painful. Also, uh, uh, Cheshire Cat for four dollars ninety nine. So, if Red stands on the beach between Orlando and Miami, would Dorian run away? Maybe. I would also like to point out that they actually but they started changing the way they sell Fen. You can tell they're starting to get triggered, right? Because they're doing it all capitals all the way throughout this until yes. this one. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, uh, also one one more thing. And Igor. Uh, one more thing. I I wanted to uh, to bring something else up with uh, with uh, Sean Hufford. So Sean, uh, I understand Sly Sparkane cannot be here right now because he has this thing called a job and has to you know tend to those uh, obligations. But uh, I'm not the only one that submitted a counter, right? Sly Sparkane also did this as well. Yes. Okay, but that's not the only thing that Slice Barcane did. Slice Barcane also submitted paperwork to the state of Indiana about FE Core. So uh, educate me because I'm ignorant on, the, on this. What exactly did he do? Say that again. Sorry, I was distracted. Uh, what exactly did uh, Slice Barcane do? What paperwork did he submit to the state of Indiana about FE Core? Oh, he sent a formal complaint to the state, the Secretary of State about FE Corps' um, incorporation in the state of Indiana. And the Secretary of State decided that that was needed to be forwarded to the Attorney General of Indiana. Ah. You know, you know the guy that actually sues people at the state level. Ah, great. Good shit. Good shit. Now, you um... Know, so, so we'll be seeing state versus FE Corps. Yes. Now... Because they're, you know, lying about the purpose of FE Core, um, they could be sued for that, right? Well, what, what's going to be really hilarious is that when they get served, there's nobody at their corporate office to receive that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Fucking lull. It does. It makes because no those, difference. Those are hand delivered and have to be. It does. They, they are hand delivered by the sheriff of St. Joseph County. Ah, uh, fucking lol. So, so Rick, 
you might want to spend the next month or so at that church <laughs> because you don't want to miss that you don't want to miss that serving because that'll look really 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 bad for your case if the sheriff cannot actually reach FE Corps at the FE Corps listed office. Yes. Yes. That, that'd be a problem. That would be a problem. Now, I um, would kind of make the case and close it all in one shot. I think I'm deciding that the dumb fuck of the year is going to be GE because Kyle and Mike have gone beyond just a dumb fuck into in into not just criminal behavior but like shitty poorly done criminal behavior whereas GE is actually the only one who is as a simple enough to be a dumb fuck. So so basically this goes <laughs> that we have we we've not just hit dumb fuckitude We've gone beyond dumb fuckitude. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, and and red, I know why you brought that up, Chesh, because GE made G Man look good in a debate. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, me and Reds, and I think somebody else. Who else is coming? I think there's three of us. Three of us are going on to Drunken Peasants on Tuesday, and we're going to be reviewing that. No, it's not Steve. Somebody oh, else. Steve. What? gonna make it okay no, St- i'm pretty sure steve's noping the fuck out of that shit I don't blame him. <laughs> uh also also i did you, oh uh, uni it's uni rock uni rock's coming with us uni rock yes okay but but there is one more thing that we need to talk about in this hangout that is very fucking important now effie core is currently triggered mike cavanaugh is triggered and mm-hmm. Because he's so triggered, I think he is doing all of this on his own. Now, I am not the one to give Jaronism the benefit of the doubt, but he did go live yesterday, and he said that, and I'm going to paraphrase here, uh, I think submitting copyright claims is stupid, it's dumb, I wouldn't do it. I I could do something better. What's um, that? Because I was actually going to make a video about that, so I actually downloaded that video and actually cut that clip out yeah oh. and did you did you notice the timestamp on that the timestamp uh, on that when he starts talking about it is three three three. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful that is beautiful right there so i have to find out where i save that to and i will get that to jared so he can share audio ah All right, hang on now we're talking so okay but Besides that uh, audio clip, which we're going to play, by the way, when we do play that clip, I want to play it in full without interruptions, and then we'll comment on it after the fact. But there is something that I need everyone in the live chat to do. We're currently at 507 people watching, and so if you all can do me a huge favor uh, and mirror this hangout. See, here's 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 what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I am going to uh, put this hangout as a creative commons, which means anybody can download it and mirror it. I'm not going to monetize this uh, this hangout after the fact. I'm not going to remove this hangout after the fact. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with this hangout after the fact. And also on top of that, I was also very careful not to use Effie Core's logo or show their website or anything like that. No, oh. fuck them. Well, you are going to stop there, Red, because Chesh was showing it all over the place. Yeah, on a fucking email. They can get bent at that, as far as that case. <laughs> okay, so when it... At me. At me, exactly. But here's uh, here's the thing. Um, that's that's an email from them. Again, that logo is an identifier. I didn't show it. They show it themselves by putting it as their fucking avatar for their goddamn Google account. So I hate mean you make that argument about they're the ones who posted their faces and names on their own public fucking website. Exactly. Now, if all of you guys can do me this favor, mirror the ever living shit out of this <laughs> hangout. And then after you mirror it, uh, tweet it at them. Tweet send, it at Effie Core. Well, well, well. Hang on. Uh, not just that, but tweet <laughs> your own uh, re-upload of this hangout to Team YouTube. Yes. So that way, Team YouTube is spammed with quite literally multiple links, all linking to the same hangout that are telling them the same exact thing: that Effie Core is currently engaged in fraudulent activities. They are abusing YouTube's copyright and privacy complaint 
system, and this type of abuse needs to be addressed immediately. Uh, quick question, Red. Do you want the video or just the audio? Let's do just the audio. Okay. And uh, let me know when you're ready, and we oh, will... Oh, it's ready. All right, everyone shut the fuck up. Let's listen to this all the way through. Go ahead. Real quick, I want to address a question that came across in the chat early on right when I posted this video. Someone asked me, uh, why are you FE Core morons filing false copyright strikes against people like Reds? Uh, first off, I've never done such a thing and never would. So I believe in free speech, open platforms. Um, you know, just like people take my videos all the time and put them on their channel, comment, and you know what? So be it. If people want to watch that crap, go right ahead. I produce my content. If people want to watch this, go ahead. If they don't, delete me, block me. That's how I feel about other people. I certainly don't take time to watch uh, their channels. They've told enough lies about me to the point where, you know, I don't trust anything that they've got to say. You should be the same way, but if you choose to watch them, as many people do, go right ahead. Uh, he then said that he has a direct quote from Mike. I assume he's talking about Mike Cavanaugh, president of FE Core. And if so, then you have issues with, drum roll please, Mike. Take them up with Mike, not me. No one has ever asked me to submit a false copyright claim or strike or even a real one, for that matter. And if they did ask me, I wouldn't do it, period. It goes against all my personal beliefs, so sorry. Your issue seems to be with someone else, not me. To me, copyright strikes are petty, you know, and they hurt everyone. If you're on YouTube, well, then you understand that uh, often it's a tough thing to do. What we do, we, you know, produce content, if you want to call it that. And uh, often things that are said about me or my channel, I don't agree with. But again, I will fight for your right to be able to use your free speech. So you ain't going to catch me doing any copyright strikes on anyone. Um, if you want to be able to use your free speech, then so can others, period. So take your issue to who you have issues with. And in this case, it isn't me. Okay, so that should be pretty simple to figure out. You don't have an issue with me. Um, and if anyone is telling you that I personally did any such action, they are lying, and that's fact. Period. Hmm. Oh, they're lying. Okay, L let me address something here because Jaron said something really interesting there. And of course, yes, of to... course he did. Of course he Re said really, something interesting. Really interesting. <laughs> and I will fight for your right for free speech. <laughs> Why the fuck aren't you calling out your president for breaking the law? To point two. He was very careful. Uh, either the question was not fully asked correctly, or he was deliberately avoiding the second half of that, which is the privacy strike, because didn't Sly receive seven privacy strikes from seven different people? In other words, the seven members of the FE Core board. Uh huh. Yeah, and on top of that, he, he, the question didn't specify copyright strike. He added that after the fact, indicating that he knows exactly what's going on. Ah, uh, okay, see, that, okay, that, that answers my question there, because I, so... Uh -huh. that's, he's lying, is the So, answer. in other words, he's, he's lying by omission. He's not owning up to the fact that he filed the privacy strike. So, he is not for free speech. He will use privacy, he, he'll say, like, I didn't say I didn't file a privacy strike. I said I didn't file a copyright strike. I didn't file a copyright strike. I filed a privacy strike, which is just double talk, talking out both sides of your mouth, lying by omission, all this bullshit. Yeah, he's, he's also full of it. yeah, he's lying by. Uh, arguably, he's either directly lying or lying by omission when he specifies that. Oh well, he would never do something like that because he does say he would never strike somebody, uh, which we yeah. know is factually not the case. Yeah. Now he also said that. Uh... That he will quote fight for for right as Sean just oh, just stated. Wait so. a second. No. Oh, I love memory. New what? Coke, Aaron. You copyright struck several of his videos because they were talked about your fucking balloon launch. Oh. <laughs> and you, you know, I was liar. I was gonna mention that is when he mentions that we're liars. It, could he be referring to that? No, New Coke got all in a tizzy because. Jaron filed copyright strikes against New Coke's videos covering the fraud that his balloon launch was about. If Jaron was going to fight for your free speech, why isn't he here? Well, not not only that, but why 
are there documented instances of him doing the exact opposite of what he just said that he would do, which is to, I'm not going to do this. That's petty bullshit. And yet we have instances of him engaging in such petty bullshit. I play a game when people come over to my house, by the way. Chad's asking me about my Yoshis. Uh, there are seven or eight of them, and they're all hidden around the apartment. So if anybody ever comes over, you have to play Find the Yoshis. None of them are hidden in, like, closed-off areas. They're all, like, out in the open. Are they all the different types of Yoshis? They have the blue Yoshi and the yeah. yellow Yoshi. Yep, there's a blue Yoshi, a yellow Yoshi, a red Yoshi, black Yoshi, green standard Yoshi. Got this little pink guy. They're all over the place. I told you they're not in a hit. I told you they're not in a hidden place. My panty drawer, although it is not hidden, it is enclosed. All of the Yoshis are out in the open. I don't cheat. Uh, That's not true. I'm a dirty fucking cheater. I'm okay. probably lying to you right now. All right. Anyway, moving on. So, but I, I, I have a question for the live chat. I, I have a uh, Jaronism on Skype. I'm not. I'm not going to go any further. You already know where this oh, where this is oh, going. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking speaking of, uh, since this jackass came up, Red, I just went through my archive and found a, a particular quote of his. Actually, my favorite quote from him that you gave to me. Oh, please do share. Oh, and there is one more annoying person in the world than you. I was shocked. That jackass Jared, where did you pull this shirt busser from? Aw, one interaction with him, and he thinks I'm more annoying than you. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, uh, let's see. I was thinking about, like, asking, hey, Jared, would you like to come in and explain the shitty behavior of your uh, FE Corp president? After all, you will fight for your right. For free speech. I mean, we do. We. I mean, you did say that. I mean, it's your it's your recorded words. So, if my free speech is being trampled on by one of your uh, flatter shit kickers, you will fight against that, right? You will actively fight against that, oh, right? Oh, no, I, I come. It's going to be well. I meant that for other flat others, just like Mike says that the publicly available page of the fe core website is only for people who are flat earthers why did the why did he think that that would fly because he's an idiot ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fucking lulls all right guys so we're pretty much uh, uh good on this hangout we said everything that we need to say so uh i'm going to conclude by saying that I am not retracting my counter notification. Uh, FE Core, or in this case Mike, will have to get a court order in order to keep that video down. And if they do, that means that they are actively pursuing, uh, they're actively going to be uh, pursuing legal action against me. In which case, I'll be more than happy to counter that shit and expose you for the frauds that you are. It's fucking easy. You, you, you forget. You forget. We've kind of had a head start in building our case. A head start of, hey, Sean, what was it? Over a year? A little bit, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. It's interesting how that works. So, Mike, uh, li like I said, if you want to sink the ship that is FE Core, I'll be more than happy to be your iceberg. And for the rest of you guys in the live chat, all 507 of you, first of all, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for the super chats. Um, I'm going to be saving uh, those super chats for possible legal fees, because uh, if I go after FE Core, I am going to make sure that they are fucked to the fullest extent of the law. This is going to be a look... A this is going to be a no lube situation. Let, let me explain one thing to Mike real quick about nonprofits. Eh? Even at the state, even at the state level of nonprofit, um, when you do your articles in corporation, before you even get to the federal level, the first people you are accountable to 
is the public. The law gets second dibs. Mm -hmm. You have failed in every respect to answer any question the public has demanded that you are supposed to supply. You have tried to impose outrageous fees to look at your Form 990 for your 1023 based on the fact that you don't like people are asking for it. That is a felony. You are required by law to answer to the public on all documentation that is requested because you claim to be a nonprofit. You don't get to pick and choose who gets to see it. Anybody in the public has the right upon demand to get that information. You can charge a small fee for every page that you have to copy if you do a physical copy and for the shipping if they have to have it mailed. But you just don't get to make an arbitrary, oh, we're going to charge $400 for you to get to get that information or more depending on how much you hate the person, which to my knowledge, you've never given that information to anyone. And what, and also I, I remember this from slice Barkane's video. Isn't it the case that if they refuse to provide that information, that they can actually be fined? Yes. Um, I believe it's $10 a day up to a $10,000 fine. The counter's still going, even though you've taken that video down. He's got the video made and on record and the date showing when it was taken down and the date it was uploaded. So that counter is still going, Mike. Fuck off. Huh. Keep, keep, keep wasting time. <laughs> <laughs> and we got uh, more. So let's see. $5, Nova Ryan. Good luck and fair winds. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, feature pick for $100 Australian. Thank you very much, Feature Prick. I appreciate it. Uh, by the way, you guys who are super chatting right now, you're the fucking best. Uh, nothing you say is credible, Jism. Words are cheap. Go on record saying you are leaving FE Corps and tell them to take uh, your face off of their website. Prove to the community you want nothing to do with those scummy fucks or scammy fucks. Toughen up, princess. Um, yes, feature pick. That, that's something, too. Uh, feature pick. That's a really good fucking point. If Jaronism was so pro-free uh, free speech and said that anyone who does that is pathetic, um, then wouldn't he just fucking leave upon being informed that this shit is going on by the fucking president of the organization in which he's a board member? Wait, you're expecting some sort of consistency and integrity from jaron good luck with uh, I, that. Uh, I i just uh, wow when you put it that way i would find it really interesting if he has you, some integrity you want to piss on my cheerios when you're at it uh while you're at it 82 hey you're expecting the impossible there dude <laughs> oh, god james collin for two dollars 99 reds make them bend the knee <laughs> that'd be great uh, Steve McRae, two dollars. The five percent I got from non sequitur show. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. Are you saying you actually got ten dollars from Kyle? Wow. Nice. Yeah. Record. Uh, any. Uh, oh yeah. But by, by the way, uh, somebody actually uh, they didn't make a uh a, a super chat. But I'm going to read it anyway. Um, but first, more super chats. Helios five seven five two dollars. If you get Jism in here, I will donate $50. I will go ahead and make the attempt. Uh, Kim Lesson uh, for $129 dick dollars, DKK. Um, this is for your legal defense. If that does not happen, get a drink on me. Uh, Cheshire, we got work to do. <laughs> Evil laugh. Uh, for $5, OPT Lawyer. Uh, for the legal defense slash offense fund, crush them reds. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you missed one by cruising with Jay. Uh, I did? Fuck. Yes. Two dollars. No lube. Make them bite a pillow and go in dry. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. They don't even get the pillow to bite on. Six dollars Six dollars and 66 cents. N-A-N-A. -A. Uh, team cunt needs to fuck them up. Ah, oh, dude. We're going to... I've got to... If they actually pursue this legally, they do not know... The world of hurt that they're going to be in, just just legally reaming them, and yes, there will be no lube, and if there is lube, we're going to put sand in it. 
And, uh, oh, oh yeah, by the way, let's also uh, factor this in. I'm going to go ahead and go into my uh, Skypers. And I am going to click on this uh, thingamajig doohickey that says Jaronism Truce. <coughs> Lol. And I'm going to type, so you said you would fight for free speech. No, his, his quote was, I will fight for your right for free speech. Yeah, close enough. Well, no, because there's a very different connotation when he says it that way. Yeah, close enough still. So you said you would fight for free speech. Put your money where your mouth is and show up into a hangout and actively... Uh, how, how do I say this? Actively uh, speak against uh, Mike. Yeah, that's good. Speak against the bullshit censorship by Mike. I think that's good. I think that's good. And I, I predict a fuck off. Yep. <laughs> I don't think he's going to have the balls to answer. He'll answer you, but he's going to wait until after you're offline. Yes. He's not going to do it while you're alive. He's a well, pussy. He, he's actually got a history of answering Reds in a sort of timely fashion, usually while he's still alive, but it's always, you know, fuck off or something to those effects. Oh, yeah. It's not It's not going to be, uh, it's not, I... he'll answer him, but he'll, he'll, he's, he's a baby bitch boy. And yes, Treasure Cat, I, I I agree with you. It would be funny, but if I'm not getting anything out of it, I don't see why I would. Just saying. Reds is still kind of of it. Hang on. The actually answer? My God. Nope. Uh, I just added, uh, or don't, and wait for Mike to get hit legally. Your choice. Well, the thing is, is that he might get hit legally, too, if he's on the board. Yes, since it is FE Core team, yep. everybody in FE Core that's a board member is responsible yep. for what Mike is saying. Yup. <laughs> so, okay, so I went ahead and sent it. Uh, so they are, uh, and also just to show I am not bullshitting here. Uh, let me go ahead and show this. So, going on screen, as you can see, I sent it to Jaronism Truth over Skype. Now it is just a waiting game. Uh, I don't see anyone else see the screen. I don't see screen. No, no, no. I, I, I showed it's it on the on the live stream. Uh... Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, on on the live stream, it was shown. So I'm so used to the old Google oh, Hangouts. But, but how, also, also it says to time for the board to have a vote about their president, if you ask me. Here's the problem. They don't legally have a board. Yeah, they yeah. don't. According to their article of incorporation, they do not have a board. Yep. Oh, I fucked up. We're back. Did you end the stream, you dumbass? I did end shit. Oh, yeah, there's the uh, there's the file with all the donkey porn. Damn it! You you saw my donkey porn file. I am ashamed. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, you, you 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 know me so well, Jared. This is why we're friends. <laughs> you're so bad at lying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so suck my spinning balls for twenty dollars. Says can't wait to see them put down. Uh, five dollars. I love that person's name. <laughs> suck my spinning balls. I, I mean, of of all the YouTube names, it's a good one. That one's one of the best. Top tier. Stop, stop spelling like a flurfer. <laughs> 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 I have much. Do more I need to pull up those that. emails again? <laughs> yeah. Please, uh, William uh, Peterson. Uh, for five dollars, I love it when. When moist douche towelettes like them, <laughs> wow, <laughs> that, 
<laughs> that is that is a way with words. Rare insults. <laughs> Moist douche towelette. Towelette. I fucking love that. Make You're a towel. like then make a pitiful <laughs> Mike. Oh wow, that was good. Make a pitiful attempt at bullying and it blows up in their face. Bring out the scud missile strap on. Rare insult mixed with a pun and a threat at the end. That is a good super chat. That is a good super well chat. Done. That's Sir good. or madam. Or attack or helicopter. Or ta yes, yes, <laughs> yes. yes he that one a bean, a ween, or out. the sauce. Uh, Ghostly Enigma for uh, five dollars says, "Not sand. Use poison oak oil on a rod covered in rusty <laughs> nails." No, oh no! Can, someone can you mentioned sand mixed in there. No, someone said, "Don't use sand. Use broken glass. Uh, sand is raw glass." Oh, there you go. Also, Stuart Bunn. Uh, so for twenty dollars Australian Stuart. for the Fighting Fund. Hello, Stuart. Uh. It's been nice chatting with you on Twitter, by the way. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, so let's see. Don't forget to retweet at Team YouTube. Yes. And yes. download this hangout when it's done and tweet it at YouTube because pay attention, motherfuckers. It, it blast the ever living fuck out of Team YouTube right now because that's that's what we got to do right here. I'm, I'm sure whatever trained AI bot they've got running that account right now, which gave a nonsensical response before, will at least devote five milliseconds to all the retweets we're giving them. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and you know, I'm hoping, hope for the best, but uh, yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and end the stream. Again, I am going to uh, advise that everyone download this, uh, this stream and mirror it on your own channels. I will not be uh, uh, putting this underneath the standard YouTube license. I will be making this Hangout Creative Commons so it can be reposted everywhere, and I recommend that it does. Um, so everyone who is watching this stream right now, you have my permission to repost this uh, this live stream. In fact, you don't just have my permission. This is a formal fucking request, okay? So this is a formal request to everyone watching. Mirror this shit. Mirror the ever-living fuck out of this hangout. Because the fact is, is that Mike is triggered because the information is getting out. He is doing everything in his power to silence people who are critical of FE Core. Unfortunately, if you fuck with me, the information is going to get out there whether you like it or not. It doesn't matter that YouTube has a broken system that can easily be abused. The information will get will get out. Everyone will know about your organization and the shit going on with it. Fuck you, fuck off, and eat a dick. So with that, uh, let's go down the list. I'm going to start off with uh, Astronomy Live. Say what you got to say and get the fuck out. So I just want to say again, I've, I've mentioned this in comments, and I know you retweeted it, Red, earlier, uh, that YouTube is starting to take false copyright claims quite seriously now. They're not screwing around anymore when it when they actually get off off their asses and pay attention. They're now suing uh, a, a former YouTuber for filing false copyright claims and yes. using the um, using the material out of DMCA. Uh, uh, I'm going to stop you there. I'm going to stop you there. For those of you who want to look up that story, look up Vengeful Flame. Again, Vengeful Flame. Just type I'll it into Google, it. and you'll see the story. But continue, oh, Astronomy. Oh. Darn, I was hoping it was the uh, the one that Astronomy Live had the personal grudge with. Well, or, I, well, him against you, I, I would, to be I, accurate. I, I, would be funny. But anyway, continue, Astronomy Live. Sorry. Well, it, and, and so in this case... This person who filed these copyright claims, uh, in this particular case, used a false name, and I, I think they used a different name each time they did it. So for all I know, maybe it is the same person. Who knows? I, just, I strongly suspect the person's name that I was given for this copyright claim was false or f fake made up. So it almost wouldn't surprise me if it was actually the same person or someone very much like them. And YouTube is taking it seriously. They're, they're going after this guy now, suing him personally. They're not just trying to get authorities to pay attention. They're just outright suing him uh for filing false copyright claims and then using in this case they used uh dmc the dmca 
information when the counter notice was filed they used the address of the, of the people filing the counter notices to do swatting uh you know the the good old prank which isn't really a prank and is really dangerous where you call the cops and you make the cops show up at somebody's house to try to get them shot by the cops you know that whole deal by phoning in fake bomb threats and things so yeah they went way way over the line and youtube is now suing them on the basis of actually just violating their systems and, and abusing the copyright complaint process so you know mike and the fe core better watch it because youtube may come after them personally and sue them as a result they of all the abuse they're doing red's personal information too in that in that email so yes. they can pursue legal action which yeah. isn't that interesting isn't that uh, interesting? It's not just interest. It's dumb as the hell. Like how? The same tactic on me when he threatened to sue me. Yeah. For rival. Like how? Stupid and I told him just you just get a court order, and YouTube will have to give you that information. He, of course, backed the fuck down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. and, and this suggests to me there's some, some, some uh, that brings up another point. I think there's some disingenu disingenuity there, uh, disingenuous motives there when he asks for your address because. Have you already filed the counterclaim at this point? Yeah. I guess I should ask that. Okay, so you've already filed the counterclaim. Let's just say he has information if he wanted to come after you legally, that he could come after you legally. Like, that ball is literally in his court at this point. He doesn't need your personal address to do that. Correct. That's not the reason he's asking that. The reason he's asking that is probably for, let's say, less uh, less legal reasons, okay? Doxing. Like, he doxing you know, swatting or just getting other people to swat you by doxing you, you know, whatever. That has nothing to do with him coming after you legally. If he wants to do that, he knows exactly how to go about that now. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with your personal address. Well, so I, I that's a load of shit. I get, well, this is why I didn't do that. I didn't give him my, my address. I'm like, dude, you can get fucked on, on that front. I'm not giving you my shit. Not only that, the only time that, uh, that, or I should say this, he's not going to have my details ever. Everything will be going through my legal representation. My address, my thing like that. No, no. That that that's not needed. It can cut it can come through YouTube and I will go ahead and respond to that. You don't need my fucking address. I will be more than happy to respond, Mike. Here's the thing. If you send uh information through YouTube stating that you are now seeking this legally, I would be more than happy to respond to you via email alone because it doesn't take it does take much to confirm that your uh legal pursuit is legit all i have to do is call the courthouse and confirm hey is this an actual thing they'll confirm it and i'll be like oh good now i can go ahead and counter this shit and expose these jackasses for the jackasses that they actually are uh mike here's the thing your email ha your your series of emails, I should say, has given me everything I need to bury you underneath a mountain of your own shit. This is a grave of your own making. You did this to yourself. And all, and for what? All because you were butthurt that Slice of Arcane did what you told him to do, which was do his own research when it comes to your organization? That's some epic butthurt right there, dude. I must say. That is... That is top tier quality butter. I have to give Sly Sparkane props because I don't think I've ever seen a flurf this triggered. If anybody watches uh, Jaronism's response to this, uh, like, well, you guys heard it, but if you if you go and see it or rewatch it or listen to it, it's one about the Australian or uh, about the rainforest. Um, it's at three minutes thirty seconds. It's, uh, three minutes and thirty three seconds is when it starts, and you can hear how triggered he gets as soon as red's name comes up <laughs> just instant trigger it's hilarious who's that jaronism oh well yeah <laughs> i mean oh <laughs> uh, yeah, he, yeah. He, i i did kind of make him my bitch in a debate back when non sequitur wasn't a total shit show would you like to move forward the remainder of your time exactly we still need to make that shirt Oh, God. Uh, if, uh, <laughs> what, what's the what's the name shirt you want? Listen, listen. I don't know any good artists at all. Like none whatsoever. It, none, none whatsoever. Just, just no one who is an artist. 
Hey, uh, hey, hey, Chesh, why is there a look, a look of hate just billowing uh, in your eyes right now? I see my own so, desk. So I'm more curious. Where can I find a properly oversized mug like you're using, Chesh? That's not a mug. That's a thimble, dude. <laughs> Tiny. <laughs> see, it's, an espresso, shot... it's an espresso cup with a tiny little handle. See, I was hoping you would follow up with that, Sean. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do this. So, uh, Strami Live, we interrupted you multiple times, but is there anything else that you want to say? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, my, my train of thought almost got derailed there. I was just going to say that, you know, I'm actually a little surprised that they haven't struck my video covering this before, which I, I did a live stream earlier. I guess it was it just this morning? It feels like a million years ago. But it was before it was before the strikes came out about you. And I'd already, you know, done a, a live stream talking about Sly's situation, in particular focusing on the privacy strike whole aspect of that and showing their website and how they link to their website from their YouTube channel, which necessitates you know, on the privacy form saying that the information was copied from your own channel because you linked to it. And obviously they didn't they didn't fill that out correctly, so therefore the privacy strikes are also fraudulent. So I'm a bit surprised they haven't struck my channel either for showing their logo because I showed their website that has their logo, or showing their faces because it's on their website that they link to from their web, from the, from their YouTube channel. But hey, if they do that and then they demand my address for legal action, I'm just going to give them the address for uh, Tropicana Field, and and they can go have some fun doxing Tropicana Field. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I just like Jaronism's stream for people who are asking for it in the chat. That's that what that's what that one is. My the streams the or the links that I put before were the uh, articles about what Astronomy Live was talking about, as well as Sean's original video. All right. So thank you very much, Astronomy Live, and yep. uh, we'll be getting in contact with you in the next few few days about uh, totally unrelated shit. Okay. Sounds good. See you. All right. Peace out. Uh, next, uh, AT2 Productions. Say what you gotta say and get the fuck out. Oh, this is just the beginning of the fun that we're gonna have. <laughs> and Cheshire, say what you gotta say and get the fuck out. Uh, I'll be waiting patiently for your groveling apology as to why it took 30 minutes for me to get into this call when you told me to be prepared with screenshots. Because I'm a Floridian and... No, no. Groveling apology. And I'll see you guys later. Yes. Sean Hufford, say what you gotta say and get the fuck out. Well, Mike, you might want to go back onto that boat because we're having, you know, the, the sea level issues. And I think that we need some more water, and so give plenty of tears, all right? And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just say uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you, uh, thank you all for super chatting. It's amazing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, modify this Hangout so that is it is Creative Commons. Please mirror the holy fucking hell out of it. Um, because the information in this Hangout is information that Effie Core doesn't want you to know about. There is a reason why Effie Core doesn't want you, want you to know about it. And that's because, well, because they're fraudsters. And everything listed in this Hangout demonstrates that. They are fraudsters when it comes to YouTube's uh, copyright uh, system. They are fraudsters when it comes to the privacy complaints they have submitted. And they are fraudsters even at the state le level in which their organization is based. None of this is slanderous. None of this is false. All of these are facts facts that can be easily verified so i'll tell you what go ahead and and continue this bullshit path mike continue this bullshit path it's only going to turn out horribly wrong for you at the very end like i said if you want to sink this ship that is fe core i will be more than happy to be your iceberg Have a good night, everyone.